So you sprain your ankle and you think, great, it's just a sprain. I'll be off of it for a few days, and then I'll get back to normal in no time. Well, is that true? Do ankle sprains really heal on their own? And when do we need to worry about what you're feeling in your ankle? My name is Rob Drenning. I'm a physical therapist. I'm going to answer those questions for you today and help you learn more about what you can expect when you have an ankle sprain. And at the end, we're going to talk about what steps you need to take to deal with it properly. So first, we need to understand what happens when you sprain your ankle. Usually, it involves you rolling over the outside of your foot. It's pretty common. Most of us have done this before or know somebody that have done it. You roll over your ankle, your foot gets bent inward, and it strains the ligaments on the outside of the ankle. Now here we're talking about what's called a lower ankle sprain. That happens in 85% of ankle sprains. You do hear about the high ankle sprain. We'll learn about that a little bit later on. But for now, just know we're talking about the lower ankle sprain. Those ligaments, there are three ligaments in there. There's one in the front, there's one right on the bottom, and one in the back, right on the outside of your ankle that all attach to that outer ankle bone. And the one in the front is most commonly involved, and the one on the bottom is secondarily involved as well. So when you sprain your ankle, it's that ligament or those ligaments that are getting stretched, strained, and sometimes even torn. They are the source of pain. And there are different grades that happen. A grade one is considered just a strain. The ligaments are all intact, nothing's torn. It's just strained, it's just irritated. Those might be sore, a little bit swollen, but you can usually walk, you maybe you limp a little bit, but you can put weight on it pretty easily. Those typically get better in about a week or two. You might be off your feet a little bit, but you recover quickly and you can get back to your normal day-to-day -day life. A grade two is a partial tear in one of those ligaments. A grade three is a complete tear. Those often involve a lot of bruising, a lot of swelling, really a lot of pain with weight bearing. Sometimes you can't even weight bear on it right away. Those tend to take a little bit longer. It can take six to eight weeks to get back to where you really want to be. Um, a high ankle sprain, a little bit longer, but again, we'll talk about that at a little bit different time. Some studies have looked at how long it actually takes those ligaments to heal up and passively get their support back. So in these studies, they wiggle the bones around. Initially, they're pretty loose. When the ligaments heal, it supports it and things get tightened up again. And they found that this process happens in about 6 to 12 weeks, just depending on the severity of the injury. So we can see that with an ankle sprain, it's not just off of it for a few days and then you're back onto it. It can take uh, a month to three months for those ligaments to heal and recreate that support in there. So that's the normal healing process that happens with an ankle sprain. But how often does that really happen on its own and do you need a little bit of help? This is the answer that surprises a lot of people. I see it every day in the clinic, but studies have shown that 70% of people who sprain their ankle are still gonna have pain and disability six months to a year later. That's a lot, that's two thirds, almost three quarters of people who sprain their ankle. It's still gonna be bugging you and it's hard to get back. Do you need to worry about that? No, that's very normal. Most of people have pain going that long, but you do need some help. You need the right management and the right rehab exercises that I'm gonna show you in these videos to help you get that ankle back to normal. But why is that? Why does that happen? The ligaments heal six to 12 weeks, but why does pain persist? When you sprain your ankle and those ligaments get stretched and pulled, sometimes they can pull the bone with it. It's not dislocated, it's not out of place, but it's, it's just not moving the way that it should. And there are a lot of other little bones in your foot that sometimes get stiff and stuck because of that initial process of the ankle sprain where you have to stay off of it, you're not moving it as much. Other things get stiff and it's not super noticeable, it's just a little bit different than your other side, but it changes the mechanics and the forces that go through your foot and your ankle when you're walking. And it leads to more pressure in your joint and pain and irritability. You see this a lot in sports, trouble getting back to impact sports like gymnastics and tumbling uh, and things like that. And that's very common. Those things are reversible. You just need to know the right things to do. So if that's you, if you're wondering, oh, why is my ankle sprain ever gonna heal? It will. You just need a little bit of help to get rid of some of those secondary issues. Another thing we want to consider is recurrence rates, because you hear people all the time, I sprain my ankle and I keep spraining it over and over again. How likely is this to happen? Studies have shown that about 30 to 40% of us are going to continue to sprain our ankle repeatedly after that first time. If you're active and you play sports like basketball, that can be up to 70%. So it can be really high. A lot of us will continue to re-sprain the ankle. Why is that? Why does that happen? Your ankle is a really important balance joint. 
If you're standing on an uneven surface or your foot's about to roll, the nerves in your ankle sense that, send a signal to your brain, and the reflex loop gets activated and it gets corrected so your foot stays flat. So you can be on wobbly terrain and these reflex loops are happening fast to keep your foot solidly on the surface. It's not something we're ever aware of. But when you sprain an ankle, those reflexes don't send their signals as fast. So you might be about to roll your ankle, but your brain doesn't know it until it's too late. And then you roll it again and you sprain it again. That's why ankle sprains are so common to happen over and over again after that initial sprain. Do you need to worry about this if this is you? Again, no. You do need to worry a little. It's not something you want to keep happening, right? Because you could damage more and more things the more often it happens. But it's also reversible with certain balance exercises and what's called a neuromuscular re-education program. You can reduce that, that recurrence rate. And again, I'm going to show you how to do that at home with the proper rehab and management right after you sprain your ankle. The third thing we want to consider when we think about is our ankle going to heal is what we call chronic ankle instability. This just means that feeling that the ankle is wobbly, loose, unstable. And that can happen in a high percentage too. 20 to 30% will have what we call chronic ankle instability. Now that's something where there's extra movement, extra forces. We want to be a little concerned about that. Also, again, it's reversible, but we want to be concerned because extra forces, we, we think it might lead to arthritis down the road or just changing the forces in your joint can make other things irritated in the future. So we want to get on top of that early and you can address that with a similar thing that we were talking about with the recurrence rates is that neuromuscular re-education program. So a quick recap, ankle sprains often don't heal on their own. We have a typical timeline, but we know in 70% of people when the ligaments heal, pain and trouble getting back to your activities is common and normal. You do not need to worry about it, but you do need help. Recurrence rates are also relatively high, especially if you're active and play sports. It's not something to ignore and pretend it's not happening. But again, it's not a concern for panic, but we do need help. We need the right balance exercises and the right program that you need to be doing at home. Same thing with ankle instability, that feeling of looseness, wobbliness, and um, unsteadiness in that ankle. Also can be reversible with the right management and the right rehab program. Not something to let go because we don't want it to develop into future problems, but it's not a reason to panic, just a reason to get some help. So that's what I wanna show you in these upcoming videos how to properly manage your ankle sprain and what to do at home so you don't end up with future issues and concerns. So keep watching to find out.